Good morning again. So this morning we are going to go for another adventure this day at the Glavani Park in Glavani, which is about 40 minutes driving. There's all kinds of uh, uh, zip lines and uh, rock climbing, uh, a big swing of about 12 meters high, stuff like that. So that should be a lot of fun. Now I do need to get to the car, which is a brisk 20 minute walk, something like that. Because yeah, we are staying in the middle of Ravin, the old city, where you cannot drive a car. So now I go fetch my car. The kids and the wife are going to meet me at a meter point, not far from where we are staying. And then, uh, yeah, we get going and hopefully have a lot of fun today. So we have just arrived at a Glavani park and there is something I need to get off my chest. First of all, autopilot is pretty much useless here in Istria as the speed limits are all wrong. And uh, yeah, so even if you have good lines, then actually it doesn't really uh, work because yeah, you're doing 90 in a 50 zone or when you can do 60, the car says you can only do 40 on autopilot so yeah that doesn't work at all so Tesla please fix the speed sign reading because that's really important now secondly what I also noticed is the fact that um, nobody in Croatia not a single Croatian actually adheres to any speed limit uh, they drive whatever they like and it's very difficult to uh, yeah to adhere to the rules here so um, even when you're doing 60 in the zone of 50 for example because you want to follow the traffic a little bit the guys are doing 90 for example so yeah it's pretty much impossible to drive legally here in Croatia but anyway now we are getting ready to have a day of fun and uh, do a lot of crazy stuff as well just dropped off the family again uh, close to our apartment and I'm here at the parking lot which is uh, about a 20 minute walk away from the apartment now uh, it is quite windy uh, for the moment so I created like some kind of wind deflector there 
to make sure that uh, the wind doesn't interfere with uh, the sound quality. Now uh, it was fun, it was really fun. The youngest one was a little bit hesitant at first, but then after um, one or two of the uh, items on the course, he was really getting into it and he had a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, the guys from uh, the park, they actually recognized me from uh, four years ago because I gave everybody a test ride uh, back then with the P85D uh, that was. So uh, yeah, I said, oh, you the guy that uh, did the test drives with, uh, with all my guys here? They're like, yeah, that's me, that's me. So yeah, fun to be recognized after all those years. Now also interesting uh, to see is that many pictures are being taken of the Tesla here in Croatia. Um, many more are on the dash cam, but I think I've gotten to about 21, if I counted correctly, that I've noticed personally of people taking pictures of the car. I don't know if it is the uh, custom license plate, probably that's part of it as well, um, but you don't see that many Teslas here in Croatia. So now it's time to get back to the apartment, make some dinner, or maybe we go out, we go out for dinner, but... Uh, the sky is looking a bit ominous, so uh, we'll see what we'll do and uh, after that we'll explore the city by night a little bit. Good morning fellas, another day, another adventure, so today we're going to go cave exploring and this will be our last active day in uh, Croatia. Tomorrow we have one last day that we're staying in Rovin and the area and uh, we're going to spend that snorkeling, exploring the city a little bit, so it's going to be more of a relaxing day at that point. Uh, and I can use it because this has been a real activation. Kids have loved it, wife and myself have loved it. So yeah, it has been a good vacation so far. Uh, but we can use a little bit of a relaxed day. So we just finished our cave exploration tour, which was a lot of fun. You had to rappel down 14 meters into the cave through some uh, narrow sections as well. But then we also had to get back up the same way, which meant hoisting ourselves up by using a shoelace as a foothold and then gradually stepping up. Um, and the kids did great. It was uh, awesome. They also had a good time there. Uh, it was also great to see a cave like this, all muddy and natural, instead of the usual caves that we get to explore where there's a paved uh, walkway and they are cleaned up and everything. This is like a real natural cave and the way more or less as if uh, you were exploring a new cave. Now there was also a lot of clay in, uh, in the cave and my youngest boy he uh, couldn't fit the boots, his feet were too small and uh, the funny thing was that 
he got stuck in the mud and his shoe got stuck while he stepped on so that was hilarious and uh, luckily he could laugh about it as well so but anyway now we are going to explore the city of Portage a little bit and uh, then we head back to the apartment Good morning again on this very sunny morning. Today is our last day here in uh, Rovin and actually in Croatia. As of tomorrow we start our drive home and today is a very relaxing day. Um, we're exploring the city by daylight a little bit and this afternoon we're going a little bit further more or less in the center of the island or more to the opposite side of the island to go snorkeling. Uh, we rem remember the place that we went to four years ago. That was awesome to see fish and uh, my wife even saw a catfish at that point. So let's see if we can try to find that again today. So after that nice snorkel session, um, the vacation has come to an end, more or less. We still have to find dinner, but then it's time to pack the bags and get ready to leave tomorrow morning. We'll go back to Belgium in two days. First day tomorrow, we'll go via the Palmanova supercharger and then into uh, Austria and stop at uh, Kitzbühel. And along the way, we'll do the uh, Osti Rodler if that's opened and uh, that's always fun we do that each and every time that we come from uh, this side of uh, Austria and then we uh, spend the night in Munich and then the day after tomorrow we are going to arrive back home and get back to our daily lives <laughs> 